season's perfect start to your Premier League campaign? I know there was a lot of nerves beforehand speaking to you before your COVID test. Must be over the moon. Yeah, very happy. It was um, it was a big game. Uh, obviously, important to get two points on uh, first game. Um, you know, it's a very important five days for, for all ten of us. Um, yeah, no, I was up in performance. I thought I played quite well. Uh, put Glenn under pressure. Um, and yeah, I got the win and yeah, over the moon. Old faithfuls back in your hand, 97 average, 50% on your doubles. Some things you never forget. Exactly, yeah. Uh, no, nah, it's... Um, like I said, I've been playing with them now for two or three weeks, gone back to them and been practicing really well. Um, and I think tonight was all about handling me, my nerves. Uh, I was very nervous up there tonight. Obviously, all my pre-interviews is about me getting eliminated, etc. And, uh, yeah, I watched you up there and put a good performance in. And, um, OK, it wasn't my A game, but it was a solid performance to start off uh, the Premier League campaign. How important is it for this campaign that you get points on the board early so you're not leaving yourself a huge job to do to the end of it? I think it's massive. I think, um, I think that was one of the, um, the things that helped me last year. Once you get on that... Even if you're not winning, if you're playing well, you get on this like momentum. Um, and you know, certainly for me to get a win tonight, um, you know, hopefully battle with another win tomorrow, and then going into the third game, you're full of confidence. You're on four out of four points. Likewise, the other way, if you lose your first two games, you're thinking, "Oh my God, I've got a win tonight." You don't want to be feeling like that. So it was um, it was important to get a win um, and to play decent darts, and that was a decent game of darts tonight from myself. And I'm very happy, and I'll take a lot of confidence from tonight. I think this stint here at Milton Keynes can literally turn this vein of form round and put you on a great run for the rest of the season. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I've had I've not had the best of twelve months, but in the same respect, I've not been playing absolutely rubbish. You, you know what I mean? I, I keep getting all the all this stick that I'm playing bad, and I'm, I'm, I'm you know I guaranteed I'm getting eliminated from the Premier League. You know, I'm losing games, but I'm still averaging ninety five plus, and you know that's a Good game of darts. Um, I think I've set the, my bar high, which is maybe why I'm getting all the critics. But I'm playing well. I'm confident. Um, okay, I'm not the best of ones in TV for uh, tournament, but I'm, I'm still playing well. Um, so you know, all I can do is keep going out, doing my best, and um, yeah, I think I think it's going to change it. I do. Um, obviously, not the best of pro tours. You know, I, I appreciate that, but you know, this Premier League is going to turn my season around. I'm going to have a good run. I'm going to give it me, me all. And, you know, once the Premier League finishes, it's when all the uh, the majors come up and, you know, I'm going to do some damage this year. Do you laugh at all those comments that say you're not playing well and you'll get relegated when you see them? Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. It's, uh, you know, you, you, you always say it. I've gone from being an underdog all the time to being one of the favourites. And I prefer being the underdog because I love proving people wrong as I keep saying in all my interviews. And, OK, it's only the first night. I'm not getting carried away. But uh, I played pretty well tonight. And I don't think people expect me to... You know, come out and have his 97, 98 in my first game. Um, maybe people wanted me to not do that. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with how I played and uh, took, a, took, took a lot of confidence from tonight. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the next four days now. Nathan, congratulations as always, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Nathan. Congratulations Thanks. on your result tonight. Um, the Premier League is a marathon, not a sprint. And it's exactly. on nights like this. It's nights like this when... Uh, you didn't play badly, but I'm saying it's those grinding those results out when you're nervous, when you're winning ugly. That's the ones which really count at the end of the day, aren't they? It is, yeah. And uh, to be fair, you nailed a couple of points there. I was very nervous going into the game. Um, I really was. And I always have, you know, I don't think I've ever had an easy game on telly. Every game I play, I'm either getting fun and then they come back. Um, it's always a battle. Um, and, you know, it, especially in the Premier League, every point, every leg counts. And, um, you know, I've seen Glenn was struggling. I was playing, you know, quite decent darts. And I just wanted to get the result, get it over and done with. Didn't get, don't give him any uh, confidence to, to, you know, to even nick a draw, you know, because that point could bite me on the uh, backside, come, you know, come the end of the season. So, um, yeah, I, f I finished out in style. And, um, yeah, I'm happy to get the two points on the board. How big a shock was it and how much sympathy have you got for Gerwin Price today? Because it could have happened to any of you and to have that, uh, to have that to happen to me, for you guys live in each other's pockets all year round, you're all sort of mates at the end of the day. Is it, you must feel awful for him. Yeah, honestly, God, I, I didn't sleep a wink last night um, because I, I was so nervous that 
you know, even though I'm doing all the right things, you, you never know with this COVID. And I thought, bloody hell, if, it, if, it, if it failed my test, I'd be, I would have been absolutely gutted. And, you know, Gezi don't need to wait for me. I'm absolutely gutted. Um, he's the one guy that I was really looking forward to playing in the Premier League. I love playing Gezi. We have great games. Um, we entertain the, you know, the fans at home when me and him play. I'm absolutely gutted. Um, you know, I hope he's okay. I've not spoke to him. Um, but, you know, in the same respect, we've got a great replacement in James. He, he's playing fantastic at the moment. And, um, yeah, it, it is a shame because, you know, I think Gezi, he brings something extra to, to darts, you know, kind of like myself and Michael. You know, we give it a bit on stage and we're going to lose that with, with Gezi this, this year, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, you know, I hope he's okay. But, um, yeah, I've now got my job to do. And, you know, hopefully it might be... Not second favourite to get eliminated, third now. <laughs> well, listen, congratulations tonight and thanks for your time. Cheers, mate. Hi, Nathan. Um, could you detect how tense Glenn was up there tonight and did that help you relax and settle into the game a little bit more? Um, yeah, he, he really struggled. Obviously, it's been common knowledge. He, he is really, really struggling. Um, and I don't think it was him. It was I was looking at his darts and, well, he was, he was going in in so many different angles and... That, that's him trying to find something, trying to find a bit of rhythm. Um, and I knew he was really struggling. And I did feel from a bit, but at the end of the day, I'm good mates with him off the hockey, but on that board, I'm there to win. I'm there to, to get as many points as I can. I'm there to, to win the Premier League. And, um, you know, I did feel for him, but I've done my job tonight and uh, I'm very happy. And coming into this Premier League, you spoke about the possibility of elimination and confidence being low. How much has tonight's result helped to eradicate that little bit of self-doubt? Um, I don't think it's really changed the way that I feel, to be fair, but I, I'm confident. Um, you know, I've gone back to my old darts, I've been playing really well from the last couple of weeks, and I think I've been playing well the last six months, but not to the standard that people are expecting from me, me 105, etc. I'm, I'm averaging 95 to 100 instead of 100 to 105. So, you know, <laughs> you slip up a little bit in darts, you get absolutely roasted for it and and that's kind of what's happened to me over the last six months and, and being criticized for the, you know the smallest of errors uh, but you know i put myself on that pedestal and you know i've got to deal with it but no i'm, I'm, I'm happy with the win I'm, I'm full of confidence and i do think i can do some damage in this playing every night suits me i'm just going to build confidence every single night um so if i'm going on night five look that way cheers nathan and well done on the win tonight thank you um, Nathan, when you're playing a player like Glenn who's not been playing well and was visibly short of confidence up on that stage tonight, is it about being ruthless and not not showing any weakness yourself? Exactly. Uh, and I think that, that is probably the, the biggest flaw in my game. If you speak to anyone backstage, I, I, I got on with everyone. You know, I, I, I like to see myself as a nice guy and pally pally with everyone. Um, and sometimes, or maybe, I don't know, 18 months ago, I might have took my foot off the gas because I felt a bit sorry for him. And I don't mean to do it, but naturally I do it. And that's the one thing I'm trying to change. The amount of times I've been 4 5 nil up in games and it's 5-3, five, 5-4 five, before I know it because I, I take my foot off the gas. And that's something I've been trying to change in my game, trying to be more, um, you know, more ruthless, as you say. And uh, that's what I've done tonight. And uh, I've got the win. I'm just touching on what you said there. Do you think maybe in the past you've been guilty of being a little bit too nice on the hockey? Definitely, yeah. I don't. It's just the kind of guy that I am. I'm a nice guy. I like having a laugh, and um, you know, a, a lot of people say to me, you know, Gary mainly, <laughs> you know, stop. There's no friends on the hockey. Uh, you take the taking food out of your kids' mouths and stuff like that. And I just like being a nice guy and getting on with people. But um, you know, I, I do think I've realised over the last six months because I've had a lot of stick, you know, of, of some people in darts and. Uh, social media and that I need to be more ruthless and be more for myself and um, that's something I'm trying to work on and I think I've shown a little bit of that tonight.